next video we're going to talk about keratinocytes. These are cells that are specialized in producing keratin. Over 95% of the cells in the epidermis are keratinocytes. The other cells we might find there are the Langhans cells, melanocytes, Merkel cells. The keratinocytes change, they differentiate as they pass upwards through the epidermis. They begin life in the stratum basale, where a keratinite stem cell will divide either into another stem cell or into a transit amplifying cell. These cells in the lower levels of the epidermis, the stratum basale, stratum spinosum, are fairly full cuboidal cells, and they begin to accumulate intracellular uh, keratin and flatten in their shape until they get the outer layer of the stratum corneum, which is the layer of dead keratinocytes, uh, which protects us, that keeps us alive. As the keratinocytes are differentiating their gene activation changes, their gene profile changes, and the protein production changes, and the whole constituency of the cell changes from the Fuller. cuboidal cells to uh, flattened uh, and then ultimately dead cells. Another thing to mention about uh, keratinocytes is that they are linked in with uh, melanocytes. The melanocytes are the pigment producing cells. They produce melanin, package it in melanosomes, and the melanocyte distributes the melanosomes to keratinocytes in the epidermal melanin unit. Keratinocytes have an important uh, role in generating, in fact, the uh, epidermis uh, if it is damaged. And there are complex interactions between tinocytes and fibroblasts when we're looking at uh, wound healing uh, involving the dermis. Uh, and we'll discuss that sort of later. But what I do want to uh, draw your attention to is the major contribution that the keratinocyte has made to modern day medicine. And that is the fact that it can be cultured in the laboratory. This was the first cell type that was cultured in the laboratory for clinical application. And this Over was 30 years ago, a biopsy, isolate the cells, uh, put them into a uh, feeder system where the cells will grow. And it was found uh, with some very interesting research that uh, you can grow them to full confluence, uh, then they will stratify, so you can get a stratified cultured epithelial autograft uh, created in the laboratory, and this has had an immense uh, contribution to uh, uh, massive burn survival figures worldwide. There are three clonal types of keratinocyte that uh, grow from uh, isolated cells from the epidermis. And the holoclones uh, are the uh, clonal types that are, de that are developing from the basal uh, keratinocyte stem cell. The meroclones uh, give, uh, they, they come from the translate amplifying cells, and the paraclones are uh, derived from the terminally uh, differentiated keratinocyte. The transit amplifying cells, uh, these are very interesting because this is a way in which uh, one uh, basal cell can actually produce more um, terminally differentiated cells. And it does this through uh, providing these uh, transit amplifying cells that will divide a limited number of times to uh, form identical cells and then these will then uh, go on to form the terminally differentiated cells. So, fascinating uh, cell, the keratinocyte, and there are a few uh, MCQs for you to look at.